Ah yes, Bastion, the character that low skill players think is overpowered and mid skill players think is shit, when in actuality, he's situationally okay. Seriously though, if you are one of those people that believes he is either really overpowered or really, really bad, then you're kind of beyond helping at this point, I'm sorry to say. Anyway though, there's no denying that Bastion is easily one of, if not the most controversial, infamous characters in the entire game due to his unique playstyle of sitting in a corner and left-clicking for about five minutes at a time. But there's a whole lot more that goes into this complex, highly technical character that a lot of people seem to overlook, and that's why I, the best Bastion in the entire world, am here today. I still do not like Scott Falco, and this is How to Bastion. Before you learn how to become an effective bastion, you first must learn how to become a more accepting person. Accept that no matter the situation, no matter how well you do, no matter how many gold medals you get, your team is constantly going to be flaming you in chat for the sole reason that you're playing as bastion. Even after you blow them all out of the fucking water in terms of score. You're gonna want to take all of those complaints and throw them straight into the recycle bin, though. Because after all, this is Overwatch. Listening to and cooperating with your team isn't really that important. So as we all know, Bastion's main gimmick is that whenever you hit the shift key on your keyboard, you become a controllable Modern Warfare 2 sentry gun, effectively turning the game into an arcade-style on-rails shooter if you're sitting on the payload like a good boy. This is a strategy that best works if your Reinhardt isn't completely fucking oblivious to all of his surroundings. Once you're set up on the payload, there's really no reason whatsoever to leave ever, so just sit back, relax, and start left-clicking anything that moves. Oh shit, except if that happens. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Just, just win the game without me right now. Boom. There you go. That's how it's done. I am willing to pay $10,000 to anybody who can logically explain to me how Anna's sleep dart incapacitates Bastion. Bastion is a fucking robot that is made up entirely of metal alloys. I mean, Blizzard, this is unacceptable. My immersion is totally shattered. Whoa! Stop! Hang on. Look at me. Look at me when I say this, Genji. Don't press shift. If you have any respect for me whatsoever right now, you will not press shift on your keyboard. I am asking you very kindly from one man to another, please just walk away. This doesn't have to end like this. Mercy never should have rezzed your ass. So aside from being a completely immobile turret, Bastion can also run around in recon mode and shoot what is essentially a shittier version of Soldier 76's gun and heal himself by pressing E, which is another thing that Soldier 76 can do. Basically, in recon mode, Bastion is just a not as good version of Soldier 76. You aren't entirely useless while in recon mode though, and to prove that, I've decided to take the recon challenge for this game. The rules are simple, no pressing shift, and no pressing Q. Now then, with the rules in place, ladies and gentlemen, behold! Today is the day weapons learn to walk upright! See you later, Reinhardt! Ooh, you ain't getting that red box today, bitch! Hey, how's it going, Junkrat? Are you trying to live over here? Oh, that's so sad. Uh-oh, I'm gonna do it again. Uh-oh. Hey there, Lucio. It looks like you might want to switch into healing form. Oh, wait, you're fucking dead, you moron! Uh -oh. I'm fire in the hole. What am I gonna do? I can't beat that one. Man, you can freeze me all you want, but that ain't gonna change the fact that you're fucking dead! Whoa! Yeah, that was pretty easy. And before anybody calls me a cheater, by the way, because, uh... No. But seriously though, the best way to actually play Bastion, all jokes aside, is to just be peaceful. Set aside all of your differences, forget that you are literally, by definition, a weapon, and accept the differences that you may have with your enemies. Let's talk about fighting. Let's talk about war. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. War, I despise, because it means destruction of innocent lives. War means tears to thousands of mothers, how when their sons go off to fight and lose their lives. I'm pretty sure it was Zenyatta who actually spoke those wise words, but point is, man or machine, it doesn't really matter, because deep down inside, I think we can all learn to live peacefully and get along with one another, and that's the kind of world that I would like to live in.
Okay, except for that fucking tracer. Don't ever trust that piece of shit wolf in sheep's clothing. God damn it, I'm so fucking mad right now! And then you abandon Zolf, and then you evacuate the bastion, and then you win. Good job.